fives, welcome to story time. And I'm sure you will be delighted to see that I am telling a story from Roald Dahl's Revolting Rhymes. This is my favorite out of all the rhymes and it's called The Three Little Pigs. I think you remember that very day. The animal I really dig above all others is the pig. Pigs are noble, pigs are clever, pigs are courteous. However, now and then to break this rule, one meets a pig who is a fool. What, for example, would you say if strolling through the woods one day, right there in front of you, you saw a pig had built his house of straw? The wolf who saw it licked his lips and said, <laughs> this pig is at his chips. Little pig, little pig, let me come in. No, 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 not by the way of my chin, chin, chin. Then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house in. The little pig began to pray, but Wolfie blew his house away. He shouted, Bacon, pork and ham, what a lucky wolf I am. And though he ate the pig quite fast, he carefully kept the tail to last. Wolf wandered on a trifle bloated. Surprise, surprise, for soon he noted another little house for pigs. And this one had been built of twigs. Little pig, little pig, let me come in. No, 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 not by the of my chinny chin chin. Then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house in. The wolf said, okay, here we go. He then began to blow and blow. The little pig began to squeal, he cried. wolf replied, not on your nelly. And soon the pig was in his belly. Poo, juicy little pigs, wolf cried. But still I am not satisfied. I know full well my tummy's bulging. But oh, how I adore indulging. So creeping quietly as a mouse, the wolf approached another house. A house which also had inside a little piggy trying to hide. But this one, piggy number three, was bright and brainy as could be. No straw for him, no twigs or sticks. This one had built his house of bricks. You'll not get me, the piggy cried. I'll blow you down, the wolf replied. You'll need Pig said, a lot of puff and I don't think you've got enough. Wolf huffed and puffed and blew and blew. The house stayed up as good as new. If I can't blow it down, Wolf said, I'll have to blow it up instead. I'll come back in the dead of night and blow it up with dynamite. Pig cried, you brute. Then picking up the telephone, he dialed as quickly as he could the number of Red Riding Hood. Hello, she said. Who's oh, speaking? Who? Oh, hello, Piggy. How do you do? Pig cried. I need your help, Miss Hoodle. Help me, please. Do you think you could? I'll try, of course. Miss Hood replied, what's on your mind? The wolf, Pig cried. I know you've dealt with wolves before and now I've got one at my door. My darling Pig, she said, my sweet. That's something really up my street. I've just begun to wash my hair, but when it's dry, I'll be right there. A short while later through the wood came striding brave Miss Riding Hood. 
The wolf stood there, his eyes ablaze, and yellowish like mayonnaise. His teeth were sharp, his gums were raw, and spit was dripping from his jaw. Once more the maiden's eyelid flickers. She draws the pistol from her knickers. Once more she hits the vital spot and kills him with a single shot. Pig, peeping through the window, stood and yelled, Oh, done, Miss Riding Hood! Ah, Piglet, you must never trust young ladies from the upper crust. For now, Miss Riding Hood, one notes, not only has two wolf skin coats, but as she goes from place to place, she takes a pigskin traveling case. I love that story. But of course, it's the intertwining, which means the mixing up of two fairy tales. Red Riding Hood and the Three Little Pigs with that absolutely stunning twist at the end. And I use stunning in the original sense. You are stunned. You cannot believe that she has done that. So fun ways to do this would be as you speaking, the parts of the little pigs, you could hold up a pig mask or you could draw one, um, a little piggy face, and then you can have the pig interacting with the wolf like this and easy things to do. House of straw, you hold up your straws, hold up your twigs, hold up your bricks and get somebody to shout the word bricks loud as they can. Have fun with your fairy tales. That's what I always say. Have a wonderful afternoon, grade fives, and goodbye.